Ask Reddit whilst you were born. People who are motivated to do things, how the fuck do you do that? I am always trying to hook future me up so life can be a bit easier rather than a constant slog. If I get stuff done now then I can relax a bit more in the future and that really makes me motivated to keep pushing. I love that you reference future you. I've spent the first part of my adult life trying to get unfucked by past me. I remember specifically buying an LCD TV when they first came out on my credit card and literally said out loud to my roommate future me can pay for this. I don't wait for motivation anymore. I just do what I need to do. Half the time the I don't feel like doing this feeling goes away within minutes. Yes, motivation is not the answer self-discipline is. It's really about making it a habit. Getting up and being motivated to do something comes easier the more you push yourself to do it. Deleted. Being homeless for a year did this to me. As my high school physics professor once said, you won't claim you're tired if a bull was chasing after you. Prison. It's a pretty big incentive not to go back. I have a nice apartment good friend slowly building a support system no way I'm going give that up. Good for you. Keep it up. Step 1. I'll just do 5%, but I'll do it now. Step 2. Meh, might as well keep going. Step 3. Wow, I'm finished. Now I'm motivated to do more. Deleted. Motivation is bullshit, comes and goes on a whim. I think what you want to know about is discipline. I agree and think it's both. You need motivation to start, and discipline to keep yourself going. Coffee. Turn everything into a precise routine and make it more efficient than the day before. For example combining an audiobook with commuting to work before after Russia and using the extra time for a workout, making dinner with the clean up in mind. Sleep schedule with sleep hygiene. And stop talking to lazy people, they will brainwash you into watching too much TV or being on the internet too much. Really good advice. The results. Routines are the base to my happiness, so I push myself to do stuff. For example, I wanted to start working out, so I had to really push myself for the first few months, but once it became a habit and what's more important I saw my body looking good, it's as normal as brushing my teeth. Result. That's the key word. Always looking forward to the end point. Without it there's no reason in doing anything. I used to be a lazy sack of crap. I got a small whiteboard for my fridge and would write 10 daily tasks to complete every day. I started with easy things, wash the dishes, vacuum, sweep the kitchen, etc. After 3 weeks, I added more difficult tasks, hang up the clothes on the bottom of my closet, put in 2 applications for better paying jobs, cook a crazy new recipe I found, wash the dishes for aforementioned recipe, etc. By the end of 3 months, I didn't even need the list anymore. The easy tasks just became a natural routine and the more difficult tasks didn't feel so insurmountable. That was 6 years ago. My house is always clean, and I have a well paying job I do very well. Anything can become normal habit if you stick to it and don't give up. You've got this. Honestly, Consetta. I always had trouble beginning tasks. Once I started them I could power through but always felt overwhelmed to start. I was an adult and diagnosed with ADD and Consetta literally changed my life. I am able to work, clean, take care of kids, stay fit, all because I'm not having trouble starting. Even when I skip a day I'm able to do it all because good habits have been ingrained. Seriously, if you struggle with motivation maybe you have a brain like mine and can fix it. I came to say basically the same. A Daryl. It doesn't exactly give me energy as much as it gives me the focus to continue any task once I've started it. I still really struggle with the initial physical motivation, but once I'm moving I'm extremely ambitious mentally and can finish all my tasks. 
before they would have been overwhelming and I would give up halfway through, so often in fact that I eventually just never started. I found a medication that works for me, for something I never knew I had, until I was 33. The motivation comes from knowing that once I get started, the medication keeps me focused on whatever I set out to do. That is something people really should consider when struggling. Get a hard working girlfriend. My girlfriend works from home, is also studying a PhD and, pre-lockdown, works for a charity on Saturday mornings. It's a constant reminder to look at myself. Now I'm not as motivated as her, she's the inspiration but I have to find ways to motivate myself. I will say something like okay, I have to watch this statistics lecture, then I can go on Reddit for 10 minutes, if you can stick to it, it works well. Having a super productive girlfriend makes you feel a bit more accountable to stick to it. That's actually an important point a lot of us are influenced by the energies of people around us. A hard working so can cause you to be more active than you would be otherwise, just by hanging around them. My spouse is way more amazing than I am and I know a lot of my accomplishments are because I looked at them as an inspiration and example. So if you don't have a hard working so, try to find other people to be around that get stuff done. Even if you feel like you're less motivated than they are. You're probably more motivated than you would have been all alone. Motivation is a false god. You will never want to do things that are hard or unpleasant. Discipline is the true path. You must force yourself to do those things even though you don't want to. Deleted. Read the book Tiny Habits. Motivation is unreliable. What you should aim for is making the task as easy to start as possible, i.e. put floss in visible sight and easy to reach if you want to do more flossing. Find a logical place in your day to consistently do it, after you brush your teeth, and commit to doing the 30 second version of it, floss one tooth. You are always welcome to do more. Over time, it will be easier to do more. I write out yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. The power of habit, habit stacking. YouTube this. Also, doing something for only 5 or 15 minutes to start. That's how I learned to do dishes. Often, it's not the task, it's the daunting of staring that is awful. If I only had to wash 5 dishes a day, that's what I would do. More often than not, I'd wash 10-15, but if I was in a bad mood, I'd only do 5. But I still set a goal and completed it which gives you a lot of psychological momentum. Arthix effect. Also, my goals align with my values. Also, read and watch a lot of YouTube videos, listen to a lot of audiobooks about the things you're trying to accomplish and about your inspiring interests. If you continually break promises to yourself, you are literally training your brain that your words and promises don't matter. You're training yourself to fail. If you can't keep a promise to yourself, how can you keep a promise to someone else? It's similar to learning to love yourself before being able to love someone else. Edit, fuck or to correct. Just going to counterpoint, I can usually 100% do anything for anyone else, but as soon as it comes time to turn that inwards. Big fail. Wild guess, no ADHD. It's one of the major misconceptions about ADHD. Because the word hyperactive is in it, people without it automatically assume that just means someone with excess energy but no ability to focus it. In reality, for me at least, it's not the same for everyone, it's my mind that's hyperactive, without medication, I'll start something. And within a few minutes my mind moves to something else and I've completely forgotten about what I had just started doing. The therapist that diagnosed me put it perfectly, my mind is like a TV flipping through the channels, but I don't have the remote. A Daryl. Funny you should say this. I'd rather not have ADHD, but a Daryl definitely helps motivate. The thing is, it just puts me on a level playing field with everyone else. But if you don't have ADHD, look out lol. 
Think about it like trying to get into a cold pool. You just have to jump in. Once you start motivation comes naturally. It's like exercise or anything else that matters. I feel worse if I don't do it. Nobody likes doing the dishes, applying for jobs, working on a master's degree, going through your credit card purchases looking for fraud or subscriptions to cancel, etc. But shit's gotta get done. I'm not going to die a useless burden. Deleted. Split life into three goals. Personal goals. Family goals. Work goals. Don't let either of them overlap each other. For example don't sacrifice your personal goals for work goals. For example don't stay late at work or do crazy amounts of overtime then not go gym for weeks. Try your best in each category and have short and long term goals in each. Also most important thing I've learned since changing my attitude towards stuff. Always learn something new each day, make progress in something. It doesn't matter how small it is, just try to do it for each of those categories, each day. Don't think about it or wait for motivation. Just do it. Deleted. At first I was typing sobriety, but really, sobriety has come from discipline. Others on this thread have gone into that more in depth. I lad, what would future you appreciate? One example, say you're going on vacation, would future you appreciate coming home to clean sheets and a may bed? Being constantly unsatisfied with my body is how I work out. It's also a great way to escape the existential dread and pressure that haunts constantly. It's either that or drugs and I've already almost lost myself to that like a friend of mine did. I don't want to go down that road. Saves post to comment on later. Wait a minute, but you just commented on it now. I'll agree with most responses on here that discipline is what you're looking for but I wanted to chime in with my own personal take on what got me moving on the off chance someone finds it helpful. I did nothing for 8 years. I mean pretty much straight up nothing. I was never motivated and felt like if I could somehow catch that motivation or just somehow teach myself discipline I'd finally start doing something. For me it turns out the missing ingredient was actually self belief more than anything else. A good friend ended up making me believe I was capable of things. Not by rousing motivational speeches but just in how they treated me as a competent human that they respected. I began to realize I was capable of the things they offered me to try out and my discipline just clicked into place. My work habits were hardly stable to begin with but I was finally moving. Just wanted to put that out there in case anyone happens to read it who quits things early or never even starts because deep down they think they can't do it. I'm motivated to do things because I know that when I finish it, I'll be happy it's done. X. I had a 26 page research paper I wrote in high school, it sounds awful to do but it's actually worse than that, but I was able to finish it a month and a half before it was due. I was so proud of the accomplishment of finishing a paper of that magnitude and that I was able to chill in that class for the remainder of the year. That feeling I knew I would experience when I finished it is what motivated me. As a lazy procrastinator, I personally feel that the thought. If I don't do this, it will never get done, has helped me a lot. I tend to our pool. I do, my share of, dishes, laundry. I do the yard work. As much as I hate doing anything, when I notice the thing need to be done, that thought comes to mind. If I don't do it, it won't get done. As others have said, once you're doing it, it's not an issue. Put in some headphones and forget that you're doing something tedious. Lately it has helped me muster the courage to apply for and try to find a job outside of my current soul sucking industry. I have severe depression. Out of all the parts that suck about depression, lack of motivation is what I hate the most. Caffeine used to help, but doesn't anymore. Dragging my lifeless corpse along the seafloor that is rock bottom for a long time. Then, a lot of therapy. 
Then, exercise paired with a healthy diet. Then, taking everything I learned and gained and applying it day after day. Adderall is a hell of a drug, not for people who actually need it though. It's a hell of a drug even when prescribed. My girlfriend. I plan on marrying and having a family with her. To do that I need to get through college so I can get a decent job to provide. 